Hey guys, Forest Lambert here again, and I have a, a no-brainer purchase again, for me anyway. This is going to be the Thompson Center Compass Rifle. It's going to be the Compact 2. And boy, I'm telling you, I'm excited. I am excited to get this thing out and actually shoot it, see what it's going to be capable of. Um, this is supposed to be the 5R barrel. Uh, it's supposed to be really tight rifling, really good. Uh, Smith & Wesson's even got their hands in this one. Uh, they got, it's supposed to be made by Smith & Wesson and Thompson, uh, Thompson Compass. Uh, so anything with Smith & Wesson to me is good. I like Smith. Uh, I've always carried a Smith & Wesson. Um, and I saw a long gun and I thought, well, shoot, I'll just have to try this thing out. You know, it seemed like it was going to be a pretty good purchase, uh, a good investment. And so I went with it. It's got, like I said, 16-inch barrel. Uh, I wanted something a little bit smaller. I didn't want something with a crazy long barrel. Um, I wanted something smaller, and I got a reason behind it. Uh, so you can see in the frame, not a very big rifle, pretty compact, not real wide. And the dang thing probably only weighs six or seven pounds to me anyway. It, it doesn't feel heavy. I feel like I could actually, you know, hold it off-handed and shoot it, you know, fairly accurate. Um, it's got a good bipod on it. I've, I've kind of kept this bipod throughout the years of just owning several different bolt-action guns, and I've, I've really enjoyed shooting with this bipod, or with this bipod on several different guns. Kind of flips out like that. Um, and you know, and I still to this day, I did not know who makes this. So when it comes to actually wanting to go buy one after this thing breaks, if it does break, because I mean, this thing's completely metal, it's got rubber pads. Um, I don't know who makes it, and I'm going to be really sad and upset when it does break because, I mean, I've really enjoyed using this bipod, and uh, I had it on an old Remington uh, 308 that I liked shooting a lot. It was a uh, Remington 770 or something like that. I can't, hurt, I can't remember. It was just one of them cheap Remingtons, and I mean, it was still a good rifle. I still have it. Um, I've just swapped it out with this, um, but anyway. So, here it is. Very small and compact, like I said. Uh, it comes with two rubber butt pads. Uh, one's a little bit shorter than the other. Uh, it's got a cute little compass on the back, and it comes with a little compass keychain. Uh, bolt uh, is rounded, so when you go back down with it, it's, it's not sticking out, it's not in the way, it's not gonna hit your scope. Uh, smooth action I mean it's fairly smooth the trigger pull on this thing is what really set me off too um, that thing is just super light I mean it just wow I mean I if, from, if it looks and feels as good as it does now I mean, you know, it's it's gonna. Hopefully, it shoots as good as it looks. Is what I'm trying to say. But like I said, the reason I went with the short barrel, my uh, reason I went with a short barrel is that this bad boy is threaded, and I have not had a bolt gun yet that was threaded. And I told myself if I get one. That'll give me an excuse to buy me a 30 cal suppressor. That way I can use it on my 5.56 and my 2.23 and everything else. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm looking into Silencer Co. And then I'm also looking into Yankee Hill. And I think I'm going with the Yankee Hill because it's cheaper. And the qualities, I don't even really think there's a big difference. I mean, some of you guys might be able to tell me if there is. And I'd actually like to hear some people's input on that because... I'm, I'm trying to do some research, and I've been doing some research on it. And uh, from what I've seen, is Yankee Hill's pretty good. And uh, but I do want to go ahead. I don't want to go with a direct uh, suppressor, just a direct thread. I'd like to have adapters with it. Uh, but just I've heard that you know, those can walk off the gun, and 
those uh, adapters, you lock them. They, they lock in pretty tight. So that, uh, that would really, really make me feel better. So, but it's, it's finally given me a reason to get one. So now I'm going to, um, uh, I've shot suppressors before, but I've just never, I've never went with it. And I've never went with, you know, going ahead and saying, yeah, I'm going to do the $200 tax stamp and the six to seven months of waiting and pay three or $400 for it. And that right there just doesn't sound pleasing at all. So, but now that I've got this, I, I, I've decided that's what I want to do. So that's what I'm going to go with. So this is going to be my quiet little coyote, hog, you know, type gun. Just kind of a fun, you know, do, you know, some predator killing with it and, uh, and uh, some long range shooting. So, I think those hogs and those coyotes aren't going to stand a chance when I get this thing suppressed. Uh, I've seen a lot of people go out there and shoot five or six pigs and then not even know it because the guy was shooting suppressed. So, you know, I've seen it with my own eyes and I'm, I'm ready to finally do that. I think that's going to be something that's going to be a new, cool first experience for me. Um, they do come with five, it's a five round magazine. I do not know if they come with extension magazines or not. I have not looked into it. This gun has been sitting in my gun safe for about six months now. Um, I, the reason why is ammo. Ammo. Ammo prices. Um, I have not been able to do any shooting, hardly. I have not been able to do hardly any just going out wasting ammo. Um, I've went out and shot some 12 gauges since all this stuff's been happening and been going down. Uh, that's about it. I mean, every now and then I'll grit my teeth and fire 30 rounds out of my AR or something or my AK or, you know, something of that nature. But other than that, I mean, I'm saving every bullet I got. Um, but that's just because everybody knows addict shooting is very addicting. It's fun. It's stress relieving, you know. It's fun to do with the family, take them out, go do some target shooting, you know, very good recreational, good sport. And I, and I really enjoy it. it. It breaks my heart that all this ammo shit is going on. I mean, they need to go back to normal, but there's so many new shooters nowadays and everybody's buying it like crazy. And I don't know if them days will ever come back where you can just walk into Academy and walk out with what you want. I don't know, but anyway, this isn't supposed to be a depressing video. This is supposed to be something cool. So, I'm not, like I said, I'm not, not big on bolt guns or anything, but uh, it's supposed to have a 5R barrel. It's supposed to be a really good tight barrel. Uh, it's supposed to get some pretty good MOA out of it. Uh, it's supposed to be just a really good all-the-way shooting rifle. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's ergonomically the gun feels good you know like I said it's not a heavy rifle I feel like I could hold it just about all day I mean it's seven eight pounds six pounds somewhere in there um, but uh, I picked this up from 10 star shooting range in Weatherford Oklahoma I really really recommend those people even now uh, their prices on their guns are still cheap online prices they do a lot of online business but they also have a, a decent size shop over in weatherford oklahoma uh instead of going to the city and spending nine and a half percent tax you can go to 10 star and do five and a half you know and you're still paying a really good price for you know whatever you want i mean they're not you know marking up their guns a hundred dollars two hundred dollars you know their their markup isn't much at all if hardly anything, um, be honest with you, I don't know how those people make business or make money from there because I mean, they, they sell at such a low cost. I mean, it's unreal and I'm not being paid. I don't work for those people. Uh, I just do a lot of business with them. So, but anyway, like I said, so this is a really good gun. Um, it's got your little tabs down here at the bottom to mount you a little sling if you want it uh you got some little grippy deals here which and 
there all right uh, but I like that cheek rest that's pretty nice uh, and it's a little it's their grip that they have at least at least it has some grip I mean there's some guns out there that are just smooth all the way down that's what I like about it you know and then then that was that right there as well is kind of grippy right there so I mean it feels good so and then the optic that I'm running on here about 200 bucks at Academy it's called Firefield really really good optic I I've really enjoyed Firefield I've shot Vortex I like Vortex I got clear glass this right here it's really clear and uh, and it's reticle. Uh, it's got your regular, normal. Gun is unloaded. It's got your normal crosshairs in there, which it's kind of hard to do this. But you'll be able to see the reticle here in just a bit. There it is. So it's got your your standard just crosshair sights. Um, but it does have the lines and it does have the dots but you got your different brightness settings and then you should have red there's your red so which I thought was pretty cool and then you got off sure that thing. nope one more setting like I said that is it is really really Yeah, that's really light too. But I haven't even sighted this thing in yet, so haven't messed with it, haven't sighted it in, uh, haven't shot around through it, no nothing. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing that when I do get the chance, when I get a little bit more ammo that I can play around with. But until then, it's been sitting in my gun safe like it has, and it will continue to sit. Um, the bolt. See, I had never seen a bolt that dead gum big. That thing is massive. I mean, it's, it's supposed to be a good high, high, high precision bolt. I mean, it's supposed to lock up real tight. And I like that. Like I said, I like that curve and that that handle there on your bolt. You're able to not have to worry about knocking yourself into your or knocking the bolt into the optic or anything. I mean, that comes all, the, I mean, just straight out. So, it's pretty good. But other than that, that's that's pretty much all I have to say about this one. Um, I don't know. Other than that, I mean, it's, the, the optic is a 4 by 16 by 42 AOE, whatever that means. Um, and then you've got your... And then this is adjustable, your little zoom deal. It's your uh, fit, it goes 15, 20, 30, 50, 75, 100, 200, and then affinity. Such a little affinity sign. And I like these little dust caps. Keeps the dirt from getting in there. And then you got your easy zoom on this side. It's got, instead of having to, you got a little knob which I guess it doesn't really do it do much but you know a little knob off the side here to to use I mean the gun's really tight everything's tight the optics tight on it and I haven't even played with it I've just kind of just kind of sitting in the gun safe for now so but anyway check it out uh compass Thompson Center Compass Compact, 16-inch barrel. Check them out at uh, 10 Star over in Weatherford, Oklahoma, if you're in the area or if you want to do some online with them or whatever. I mean, they're good people. And uh, I'm pretty sure Academy's got these as well. Uh, and they're about $300. I mean, they're not really expensive. And they got these in all kinds of calibers. So I almost got the 6.5 Creedmoor. But I wanted the 308 just because you can fire the 762 by 51 through it. And I just kind of grew up on 308. 
Uh, 308's just kind of been a, it's a good immediate, good cartridge round that, you know, is not going to blow your shoulder off and it's, you know, it's going to still go out there and shoot a, you know, seven, eight hundred yards. I mean, there's people out there that can shoot 308 a thousand yards. I wish I was one of those people, but not yet anyway. Um, but this, this one, I think it, I think this is going to be it. I think this is going to do it for me on uh, long range until I decide to venture off onto something bigger. So until then, well, please like and subscribe. I got more videos coming. I uh, figured I'll do a little bit of show and tell and tabletop review until I get some ammo in my hands. And once I finally get some ammo in my possession to actually go out and shoot, I will. So, well, y'all have a good one. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.